Hi friends, I'm Gina. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're making carnitas in the Instant Pot. Here I have a Boston butt cut into chunks, about anywhere from two to three inch chunks. I have kosher salt, a tablespoon. I have two teaspoons of black pepper. I have a teaspoon of coriander. I have a teaspoon of cumin and two teaspoons of oregano. You can also add jalapeno chopped up if you like. We're kind of not real crazy about the heat sometimes, so I'm going to omit that this time. And a cup of chicken stock. So I'm going to add the meat. And I'm going to pour in this good stuff, chicken bouillon. Make sure it's on sealing and then I'm going to set it for 60 minutes. And then we're going to wait for it to cook and then I'll come back. So the timer's gone off and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, release the steam, the pressure of the steam in here. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, shred it up a little bit and spread it out on a, on a baking sheet and broil it for a little bit. That part you don't really have to if you don't want to, but if you like the little crispiness of the carnitas, uh, then you might want to include that. Okay. So I'm going to take this out and just kind of shred it up. That won't be much of a problem because it is tender. See, look at that. It's just falling off the bone there. It's falling apart, I mean. Mm, it smells good, too. When you guys cook this, you're going to love the smell. It's wonderful. Oh, can't wait to taste this. You guys can definitely cook a larger uh, Boston butt than I had. I had just actually cut um, a Boston butt that I had in half. It was probably mm, probably five or six pounds and I cut it in half. Mmm, that smell is very appetizing. I can't wait. Can't wait to get some of this. It's one of my favorite things, and it is so easy in the Instant Pot. I do sometimes cook it in the crock pot. Um, but you can also do it in this Instant Pot really easy, and it still cuts the time in half compared to cooking it on the stove. And then I'm just going to crisp this up a little bit. And like I said, you don't have to. You can make wraps and whatever you want out of this without doing that. But it seems to be a popular thing that a lot of people do. They like to have it crispy. And I've noticed that when we eat out, when we go to a Mexican restaurant, a lot of times they have that little crispness too. And so we're going to do that as well. See how easy that was? Okay, we're going to give it a little bit of crispiness. And all that is, is we've got the broiler turned on and we're going to put it in there for two, maybe three minutes. 
and that'll be all there is to it. Watch it real close when you're doing this. In fact, I think I'm going to set a timer. If you want it to be a little bit longer, you're definitely welcome to put it in there for another minute or so, but it looks really good to me.